every time your oil gets to 15 percent you're gonna get this message saying maintenance due soon with the wrench sign over there hey what's up guys Emmanuel here with another oil change video if you want to stick around we're gonna do the oil change and come back here and reset this code to 100% so we could get rid of that message and you will no longer see that so let me show you what my oil life look like if you see over there I got a 15% oil life so let's go do the oil change and come back and set this to 100% so we don't get to worry about that message anymore so what's going on here guys today we're gonna be doing another oil change these are the tools we're gonna need okay I got my set of black gloves you could get any type of gloves you like, the blue, yellow, whatever you feel comfortable wearing. For me especially, I don't really, really, I'm not a big fan of gloves unless I'm working with ASIC or any bad chemical, all right? Oil change, you should be just fine. But go ahead and get yourself a pair of gloves. All right, we're going to need like a drain plug, the O-ring for the drain plugs. I got a dozen of them in this thing right here. We're only going to need one. If you like, I'm going to post the description for this. On the video check in the description I'm gonna post the link sorry I'm gonna post the link in the description so make sure you check it out and uh, you can get a dozen of this on Amazon I'm gonna post the link to the in the description okay so what we're gonna need here we're gonna need a 17 millimeter all right I got a 17 millimeter and the oil filter wrench you can use any type of oil filter wrench that work for you we're gonna need of course one of these to put the oil back into the engine and uh, I've been receiving a lot of questions on my previous video if you can use a different brand filter other than the Honda filter because every one of my video I've been using a Honda oil filter so to answer your question today I ordered this filter on Amazon it's the cheapest filter that you can find on Amazon so I'm gonna try it out to see how it works you can use any type of filter guys you can use the AutoZone brand if you get some Amazon big sec filter go for it just make sure it works on your vehicle all right so I'm gonna use this filter and I also going to keep you guys updated in the comment section let you know if this filter is good to use and I also gonna post a link to this filter in the description make sure and check it out this filter right here six pack is like twelve dollars and change that's a bingo right there all right so the all-time favorite oil I like to use my castor oil all right this is my favorite oil you can use any type of oil you want to use in any brand as you like but just make sure for the Honda vehicle you have the OW20 on any oil that you use it in your Honda Accord or any Honda vehicle it got to be the OW20 full synthetic oil guys so this is what we're gonna be using today and um, I like to also measure on safety when I'm making video I like to talk about safety so if you guys have one of these this right here is is actually a two pair I just kind of stick it together you can use that to like uh, raise the front of your vehicle so you can do your oil change if you like I'm gonna post the link also in the description make sure and check it out you can find it on Amazon it's free shipping you can find it anywhere AutoZone or Walmart all right guys and I got a jack stand right here. As you can see, I got four, four, uh, four pad of jack stand. And uh, now I got my my front wheel. My front wheel is supporting by the jack stand. And you see on the other side, I got a jack stand over there. So make sure you got the jack stand that will support the weight of your vehicle. If you're looking to get a jack stand, I'm also gonna post the link. In the description, check it out because this jack stands, all four of them is uh, 12,000 pound weight capacity. So I use that on my Toyota Highlander. And you want to make sure you got a, a low profile jack. Uh, this floor jack right here is really good. That will raise your car very quickly. If you like, also, I can post a link to this in the video. All right. So you can check it out. All right. Let's get to the oil change, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna locate our um, oil pan. As you see right there, it say engine oil, right there. So right there would be the drain plug, all right? For the Honda Accord, you gotta find your oil pan somewhere close to the passenger side, all right? So that's it right there. So let's take this bad boy out. I'm gonna put down the camera real quick, 
and then make sure I adjust the camera right there so you guys see what is going on there so let's do this look quick position and the camera position is a little bit tough right now so I'm gonna do my best all right so one thing you need to know guys you need to be fully prepared when oil is coming down because this lot of oil gonna be in this thing I hope you guys see what I'm doing you see I got me uh, my old coffee cup what I do I try to keep it closer to the drain because the oil is going to shoot right out and you don't want oil spitting on the floor. Once you get control of the oil, then you can let go and go in a regular container that I have here. Come on, bad boy. There we go. Woo. Okay. All right. Now, as you can see, the oil coming out, guys. The oil coming out. All right. So you see the oil is coming out in the container so now I'm gonna it's gonna fill it up and then just dump right into the container I'm gonna clean that later all right guys so another thing I'm gonna let you guys know is when you're using a jack stand that allows you to to have your front wheel for the race up and you can also uh, let's get that closer so the oil won't make a big mess so you can get your front wheel all the way up and what that have what that does is uh it allows you to to be able to have easy access to your oil filter okay guys so let's do it okay guys now we have like the oil coming up we're gonna take the the oil or ring out of the the drain plugs and throw it away this have to be thrown away all right so what we're gonna do grab the rags and then wipe it up once we wipe it up we're gonna get a new set of all rain and have this ready to go right back onto the the drain plug the oil pan right all right so this is a new set of all rain i'm gonna put that right on it and put that to the side guys that's why i'm gonna post the link to this all ring in the description so you can buy a dozen of them and keep it on you all right so this is gonna go right back on the drain okay guys while we have the drain plugs ready and the oil you can see the oil is almost done out there so let's go ahead and remove the filter that would be your filter right there if you want to locate your filter look on your passenger your front passenger wheel whatever how do you call that your front passenger side that's what uh the uh how you call that your oil filter would be all right guys so let me put down the camera right here and adjust that so you guys see what is going on right here so now i have my oil filter wrench right there i am going to take this bad boy right out right now all righty so one thing i like to measure in my videos always about safety i like to measure safety guys remember guys when you when you're removing the oil oil filter, also remember that you're gonna have, you know, some uh, this time the oil is gonna be coming out of the filter, guys. So you wanna be prepared. Do not have your eye too close to the oil filter. Once you have it like that, you can go ahead and uh, losing that with your hand, guys. So remember, like I say, it's gonna be oil coming out of the filter. And uh, that's one of the reasons I told you you need to tilt your, your, your steering to the passenger side so that give you more room to uh, remove your filter to be able to work on your filter, guys. As you can see right now, we got oil coming out of there. So I'm taking it really slow because I don't want the oil shooting out, okay, guys? And that oil right there, do not worry about it. Even if you go to the dealer shop, when they're doing the oil change, you're still going to get oil coming out of the filter. And it's going to make a mess on your frame. When you're done, just grab a rag and wipe it right off, guys. You should be just fine. As you see, I was using gloves earlier. And I'm using my bad hand. Once you're doing this, after a while, you get used to it. 
because the gloves sometimes it puts you in a position that you know I like to get my bare hand on everything I don't know why but you know so now this is how the filter housing gonna looks like uh, guys we're gonna grab our rags and wipe it right out we want to make sure that we don't have any dirt left in these things while we installing a new filter okay guys so make sure you wipe it pretty good and that's pretty much what it is and once we're done we're gonna also go to the drain plug and uh, try to to wipe down the drain plug just a little bit so we can put the drain plug right back on okay as you can see there I'm wiping it all right guys so now I'm gonna put the drain plug right on there and then we go get some new filter ready I hope my camera is focusing right there all right so there we go I hope you guys see there all right so we got the drain plugs going right back on as you can see right there once I'm done doing it with my hand I'm gonna grab the my 17 millimeter wrench and then tighten it down all right guys so I hope you guys see what I'm doing here it's kind of hard to work underneath a vehicle but at the same time I hope you guys see what's going on here right all righty so there we go all right so now we're gonna tighten this bad boy if you don't have a torque wrench, guys, I always measure in my video, do not over tie this thing. Because remember, guys, this right here is the ammonia uh, 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 drain, um, how you call it, oil pan. So if you put too much pressure on you might end up cracking right there, and you're going to have an oil leak, guys, all right? So that should be good enough. If you, if you don't have a torque wrench, just make sure you tighten it in a way that you know is tight. All right, guys? So now... We done with that. Let's go get the new filters ready and come put it right back on. Okay guys, so now we're gonna get the new set of filter and get that ready to go right back on the vehicle. Alrighty, so this filter you can see, like I say, I'm gonna post a link to this filter. So what we're gonna do here guys is to, um, to open the oil and make sure that we get a little bit amount of oil in order to lubricate what the heck whoa okay but that's good though that's good guys every time you buy the oil you want to make sure it's sealed like that all right you don't need anything thick going to your your vehicle because today i always buy my oil a warmer all right i buy my oil a warmer i don't buy my oil on amazon i could buy anything else on amazon but my oil i make sure I get it right from Walmart, guys. So I'm gonna put just a little bit amount here in order to, to lubricate the, um, the filter. So why do we need to lubricate the filter? We want for the filter to get a good seal because if your filter is not lubricated, while you're putting the bike on, if it stay dry, you're not gonna get a good seal, guys. So remember, there's a lot of pressure going into this filter, pushing back to the engine. And you want that to be sealed pretty good otherwise you're gonna get an oil leak while you're driving you don't want that all right guys so now we got the filter all set let's go and take and put this bible right back on you can see how shiny it looks that's the way you want it to be in order to uh, uh, put it back on your vehicle some people try to refill the filter in order to put it back on I don't do that because the oil gonna come right back in this filter anyway so don't give yourself that extra headache so just go ahead and skip that part all righty here we go let's try to put the filter back on you see that that's how you go right back into there and make sure you hand tight it pretty good once you hand tight that really really good put some muscle on it all right yeah once we put the muscle on it then what we're gonna do next is to grab the, the oil filter wrench i apologize I didn't want this camera to be shaking too much, but sometimes it's really hard to, to, to get a good video quality here. So remember, this oil filter wrench have a sharp teeth, so do not press too much against that. You don't want to put the hole in your on your oil filter, and then you're going to get the leak later, all right? So do not press too hard. Just put it in a way that 
you know it's it's tight if you notice that's a big hole on it you want to be able to there we go take it out and then replace that because you don't want to keep driving with that then you're going to have like an oil leak through that filter all right so as you see we have a brand new filter this is a completely different brand it's not a honda filter so if you want let me show you the honda filter this is the honda filter i've been using but because people ask me so many questions if you can use a different type of filter so to answer your question today i'm trying out a different brand so you know that you can use a different brand on the Honda so long it fits your Honda vehicle. All right, guys, so now we done down here. We're gonna go right up here to try to refill the oil, guys, all righty? So what's gonna happen here? Remember, guys, if you're having trouble finding your oil, your oil type for your vehicle, every vehicle have one of these, so make sure you check on there, all right? You're gonna see like uh, old W20, that's where you find your oil number, okay? Or if you're not sure, call your dealer and ask your dealer. They'll be more than happy to help you out. Okay, guys, now we have everything set up. Let's try to put our oil right in this. All right, guys. So this is where you're going to need this. As I mentioned earlier, you're going to need one of these every time you're doing an oil change in order to put your oil back in the engine. All right, you might have a question about how many amount of oil go into this vehicle. Alrighty, this vehicle is a 3.5 engine V6, so the entire five quarter go right through it, guys. So we're gonna just dump it right through it, all right? So I hope you guys see what's going on here. All right. Come on, bad boy. I need you to go faster. I have to... Speed up this video. I got a mini, and I need to use this vehicle as soon as I done my oil change. So I hope I could just dump this thing like right into it. Oh, God, this thing's taking forever to go in. All right, as you see, guys, I put everything in it. That's all you need, all right? You need the entire five quart into this. So what I'm gonna do, grab a rag. I always like to keep it clean, guys. You wanna make sure you clean your, your engine cap, or yeah, engine cap, whatever you call it. Make sure you keep it clean, just like that, and put it right back on, and give a good, tight, make sure it's tight pretty good. Yeah, we go. All right, now we're gonna put all these to the side. All right, guys, what we're gonna do next, if you see the orange thing right there, that's your dipstick, we're gonna pull it out right out and wipe it off. As you can see the dirty oil on it, we're gonna wipe it off, all right, guys? Once we wipe it up, and we're gonna put it right back in and wait till like three to four, five seconds. Just put it in just like that and pull it right back out. What you're doing here is you're trying to get your new oil level. As you can see, we have enough oil in there. All right, guys, you can see that. So we have enough oil. It's time to go back in the vehicle and reset the, um, how you call that, maintenance request, guys, okay? All right, guys, in order to reset the maintenance request, if you have the push button, you might have to push to that twice to get the first one would be the accessory mode which is radio and other stuff like that then the second push do not put your foot on the brake if you put your foot on the brakes it's going to start the engine all right so just do not put your foot on the brake and the second push this is how you want the second push to be all right everything will just light up but the engine is going to be off so what we're going to do here guys if we're going to use the steering wheel uh, this is the Touring model, the Honda uh, V6 Touring model 2017. We're going to use this to screw it up. Once you screw it up, we're looking for maintenance. As you can see right there, even though we uh, we already done the oil change, we top it up, we still got 15% right there. So we're going to keep pushing to this up, pushing there. What we're looking for here, we're looking for maintenance reset, uh, vehicle, vehicle setting. Once we get to vehicle setting, we're going to press select in the middle there. And when you press select, 
is going to go to something like a tire pressure man monitor we're going to keep pressing up all right we're going to keep pressing up we're looking for maintenance reset guys all right so you see there maintenance reset guys once you get to maintenance reset you're going to press select all right once you press select it's going to highlight on cancel all right so you're going to press the the the, the lower arrow right there to come down to reset so now you see it's on reset once you get to reset and what you're going to do it press the same select button so it reset that see on the screen it's going to say reset complete reset completed guys all right so we're going to go back to see our oil level so let's go and see the oil level we have there uh in order to go to there we have to exit out so we're going to find exit right there once you see exit as you see exit you're going to press the same select button boom once you select the you you exit that out we're going to use the same up and keep going up to find our oil life so you see the oil life is on 100 right now so your oil life is 100 percent, guys let's go ahead and start the vehicle and see if we still going to get that same message guys so now this time we're going to put our foot on the brake as you normally do to start a car and push your power button boom fire up your car guys so you see every single lights on the screen went away guys we got no more lights we got no more codes everything is back to normal the oil life is to 100 percent let's keep screwing up and see what we got there is no more message on this screen right here all right guys so you can go ahead and change your screen as you want i always like to keep it right to my mpg in order to see how many miles per gallon i am pouring all right guys so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be shooting a lot of different videos and add to this channel. I have a Toyota Highlander that I do a service on the two. So I'm going to be posting a video. And anytime soon, I'm going to be doing a transmission fluid change. I'm going to add that right to this channel. So by subscribing to this channel, guys, you're going to get a lot of cool stuff. If you got a Honda or Toyota vehicle. And somewhere down in the future, guys, I have some friends come to my house and I do the oil change. I'm going to film a video if it could be the car fall shady i'm gonna post a video on this channel as well guys so hey man i'm out of here stay safe and god bless you all Cha